Hi friends, this is Craft Designs by Shahara here and I'm just going to create a quick video of a scrapbook layout of the students from my classroom. I am an early childhood teacher and I currently teach children the age of 18, 20 for months. I blocked out my students um, pictures because I cannot show you their faces without getting parental consent and I don't want to get into any legal trouble. But just to sh give you like a really quick close up, to give you an idea, I currently have 10 students in my classroom. So this is an idea of what they look like. So this will be a very, very quick layout so I can add it to my scrapbook or possibly hang it on my bulletin board near my classroom door. Um, I'm not going to use my Cricut today. Just some simple embellishment that I have that I picked up from AC Moore. I received this embellishment kit um, for 75 cents at AC Moore. So I really didn't have anything to use them for, so I thought this picture would be a great idea. I'm also just going to use some quick decorative edge scissors. I've used that already for the edge of my picture already give you a close up of that. There you go. So I've done that already and I already mounted the photo. I also am going to use some stickers from Making Memories. This is the Defi Define collection stickers and originally this was $2.99 and I got this for $0.75. So let's get started. This is all freehand. Didn't plan anything. Not really sure where everything will go but that's the fun of crafting. So right off the back, I will add this embellishment at the bottom of the photo. I'm thinking right here would be good. Let's bring this down some. I'm going to add that right there. Let's see. That'll be good. So let's just add some adhesive to the back of the mounted photo and I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond Memory Book Glue. It's a wet glue. Sometimes I'll use wet glue, sometimes I'll use dry. And um I like to use a wet glue just so I know that the bond will be permanent. There's nothing wrong with using a tape burner but I've noticed that sometimes depending on the heat it can come off. I'm just gonna add this at the bottom. down really good okay and I am thinking of adding the first sticker from the making memories defined sticker collection and I know you can't see this but I'll read it to you and it says experience the act of living through an event knowledge and skill gained through learning and I feel as though that my students will definitely gain something new and learn something new every single day. I'm just going to mount this on the back of some paper. Let's add the sticker here first. There we go. And I am going to use my decorative edge scissors. Like I said, no cricket today. Something very, very quick. Not saying that my cricket cannot do quick things, but just want to use some things that I've purchased that I've had sitting around for a while. Alright. And I'm also going to use my Xyron sticker runner here. I'm just going to add this right through. I got this from HSN. Just created a sticker. Very easy, very fast. So I'm thinking of right here, right in the corner. So there you go. And let's see here. Let's take a look at some of the stickers. Like I said, this is very freehand, not planned at all. Let me 
thinking of adding that dimensional apple. Right there in the corner. And it also comes with stickers. Oh, this is from the embellishment collection. It has 39 pieces. And I got this for a quarter. Just cut this open. So like I said, just to, you know, use up some of my stickers and things like that. I like I like the AB I like the ABC sticker. I'm just gonna add this over here. And some stars. Zoom in so just gonna add some stars in the lower corner. And let's see. I am also going to add another dimensional. Zoom in so you can see that. There we go. I'm going to add that in. Add it. Mm, thinking the other corner I also I want to add this saying this definition saying it says discover to be the first to find to learn the existence of because my kids will definitely discover something new every day in my classroom I'm thinking up here that looks kind of busy you know what? I'm going to cut it I'll do that and I'll place it the way that I like it. Mm, yeah, I'll do that. I'll just cut it. And place it exactly the way that I want. Let's get this blue paper back here. Okay, so, where's the sticker? Says discover. Actually, no, I don't want to mount it. I'm just going to place it right on the top, top corner. So discover. To be the first to find. Just let's see. Let's get the backing off. There we go. Zoom out some so you guys can see that. And let's see, let's see. I want to add the sticker friends at the bottom of the, the photo. And you know what? I think that's about it. I like the way it looks. Zoom out some more. I like the way it looks. I'm thinking about fixing this, but I'm not really a fan of this. Let's move this over some. Let's bring it down. That's what I'm doing. Let's move this one out of the way. Alright, there we go. So, layout's all done, completed, and thanks for watching, and I'll be back to show off some more videos soon. Bye!